and we have a very special guest on set that would know a lot about what it takes to perform at an NFL Pro Timing Day and also go high in the NFL Draft. That's Earl Thomas right there, number 14 pick overall in the 2010 Draft, three-time Pro Bowler now for the Seattle Seahawks. Thanks. Earl, how's everything going first off? Everything is great, man. I'm really enjoying this offseason. Just trying to be in the best shape of my life going on to next season. You missed, you, you missed Super Bowl champion. Oh, Super Bowl no. Yeah. Champ. Wow, he's got yeah. the that's, that's pass, Congratulations, Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. There's a lot to go through with Earl Thomas. He could just go on and on forever. Yeah. But for you, at this moment right now, how does this compare being at Pro Timing Day and not having to go through everything that you went through leading up to that 2010 draft? Anytime I'm around any type of competitive nature, my heart start pumping. So you want this. You oh, want to get man. out there. This is what you I always want to be around. You know, I, I had that unseen uh, adrenaline rush, the energy, uh, the compassion, the love. Because when you respect this game and you love the game and you kind of think back of all the hard situations you had to go through to be in the situation, it's really, you just fill up with gratitude. What yeah. did your pro day mean to your draft stock? Just a chance to show what, who I am. That's all I, I can ever ask. It's just a pure opportunity to show what I'm all about, and I always want to compete. Especially in that 40, when you're fast, you want to show that speed. And, you know, those GMs out, they get crazy about that type of stuff. I know Coach Carroll is a very competitive guy, and uh, he even said it. Once he seen me run, that was it. You know, he wanted to take me out to, uh, out to eat afterwards. So, so what was the 40 time? Uh, in my mind, I think it was like a 4-3-4, four, four, you know, so. <laughs> Wow. On this board, I think it was like a 429, you know, so there you go. Wow. Everybody, have, everybody have different times. Yeah. So switching gears a little bit, um, talking about last season, uh, I love watching y'all's defense play because y'all so are just out there having fun. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, y'all are, I love watching you on the back end with your range, but flying to the ball. At what point last season did y'all know you had a special team? Well, you know, winning and losing never defines you. you yeah. we, we felt that chemistry, mm -hmm. even in the off season. We had, it was a clear vision from the start. You know, we never lost sight of that vision. Yeah. We stayed connected to the right stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we remained humble. And uh, just the respect factor that we have for, for each other, that's all you can ask as far as a team. Yeah, you can definitely tell uh, on the field that y'all are celebrating together. I yes. mean, you guys love yes. playing together. Um, you know, very few people know what it's like to be on the field celebrating a Super Bowl. Um, tell me about that a little bit. Well, first of all, this this is a child's game, you know, so you definitely, you know, have to have fun, you know. Mm -hmm. You enjoy those moments, you celebrate after, you enjoy your work after a good play, because all the preparation you, you done did in, 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 during the week, you know, you don't want to let that stuff go in vain. You got to let everything rip and just have fun. Slap somebody on the butt and say, hey, good job, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, uh, but as far as the Super Bowl, you know, that, that wasn't a lifetime achievement award for me, you yeah. know. Uh, that was just chapter one. You know, I, I already stripped myself from that and on to the next season. That's, that's that. amazing. So yeah. it's the off season. You could be anywhere in the world. Why are you here supporting your your Longhorns? This place paved the way for me to be where I'm at now. You never can forget your roots. You know, just like I try to protect my name, try to keep it strong. I want to keep this university strong, uh, Orange, Texas strong, and now you know Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. One of the things I love about this day is all these scouts, these people from the NFL come, and when they're in the locker room, they see all our pictures on the wall, <laughs> and they come out here and they see us showing support. So like you said, it's really having Texas this is a, This is a great place to be. You know, if you're from Texas, why wouldn't you want to represent, you know? You have a chance to play on a big stage in those colors. You know, it, it don't get any better. Yeah. And for so long, this day was really engineered by Jeff Mad Dog Madden. And now, a legend. A, a legend. A legend. Very much so. You just look at the names, including yourself, that this day helped put into the NFL. Now making that transition, though, to the strength and conditioning coach, Pat Moore. And a lot of these young prospects, they're having to make that transition on the fly. Some of them haven't been here in Austin, and they're just getting to know this new strength and conditioning staff. You've had that opportunity to get to know them a little bit. What is that transition like for you? Well, you know, the bar that's already been set before any coaches even got here is already high. So it's a standard, you know, whether it's Mac Brown or Coach Strong, uh, it's always going to be a standard here. You know, everybody's uh, held accountable. So it's not going to be anything where anybody can, can't handle it. Uh, it just, it just a, you just take it as a challenge. And anytime you're challenged, you have, it's, it's about how you respond. And that's just, if I get beat deep, you know, I'm not going to sit and cry and point fingers. I'm just going <laughs> to respond. 
and the guy that can usually beat guys deep, Mike Davis right here. Yeah. How much have you had an opportunity to watch Mike these past four years? Well, you know, I, I kind of been lost in my own worlds for us. What's going on? Understandable. Yeah, you know, to be totally honest, but he, he's an athlete, you know. Uh, he's from Dallas. Uh, we's with, we are with the same agency. And uh, just talking to him, the, the biggest thing about him, he just, just need to grow up a little bit and, you know, focus on the future. You know, you, you always want to focus on the future and not, not be so short term. But he's a great athlete. He, ha he have all the tools to be special in this league. And we'll just see. It's, it's, it's a choice. You know, it's a choice that you make. So let's watch this drill with Adrian Phillips here, a guy that played corner and primarily safety at the University of Texas. What do you see in this drill right now, Earl? Just quick switch. You know, everything is about explosion. In the, in the league, everybody want to see as far as you, if you're playing DB, if you can get out of breaks quick, uh, if you can flip your hips. Uh, they'll put you in uh, some bad situations, see how you react. And that's basically it, you know, when you talk about being DB. So watching Adrian Phillips, Carrington Bynum, I know if we asked them, they would talk about you as someone they look up to as far as Texas DBs. Who, who did you look up to when you were coming out of Orange and coming to Texas? Well, Coach Keena did, Coach Keena did a great job of really um, pushing what happened in the past, the guys that paved the way for you. So guys like A. Ross, uh, Michael Griffin, Jammer, Vasher, uh, Rob Babers, these, these guys are guys that I look, I was supposed to be in study hall some nights and I would be looking at their tape, you know, just watching the battles. And, and I learned a lot from them. I kind of added what they did best into my game. One of the things we talked about earlier was what it's like on Sundays when you look across the sideline and you see Longhorns over there. And I know I got a chance to play against you guys right. when I was with Baltimore. And I, and I was saying, it's just, when I first got into the league, there was maybe two or three guys in the league from Texas. And when I left the league, every Sunday, I got to meet somebody at midfield and say, what's up? So what's that like? It's just that connection, you know. We've been in the same atmosphere. Um, we had the same calls, because when you play for Texas, you want to win. And also, it's just a brotherhood, yeah. especially in that DB room, you know. I'm biased, you know, it's <laughs> DBU, I take that to heart. So I always try to, you know, put something on film that I'm be proud of. And, and make you have a lot to be proud, proud also. Yeah. Yeah, but one of your proudest moments has to be when you got that initial phone call from Seattle. What was that like? Draft day and the telephone rings and you're in the NFL. It kind of happened fast. Uh, you, you really don't know what to expect because it's your first experience. Uh, but j it's just a whole nother atmosphere, you know, you're in a different place, different environment, and everything is about being comfortable. But one thing about me, I'm comfortable in my own skin, so, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be me, and you're going to accept it or not, you know. It's, some people are going to like it and some people are going to hate it, but all you can do at the end of the day is be yourself and enjoy every moment. So you're comfortable in your own skin? Are you yes. comfortable messing with Pete Carroll that Texas beat his Trojans? <laughs> I always do it. I always do it. <laughs> you got to do fact, that. Before, before the game, he said, he, he was trying to make a point that you don't have to make anything up. And he, he kind of showed that clip when Vince Young ran it in and the confetti was dropping. And it, it still haunts him to this day. And I, I'm never going to let him forget it as long as I'm on the team. <laughs> now that is a it. good Longhorn right oh, yeah. there. Oh, yeah, through and through. Earl Thomas, thanks for stopping by. Congratulations on all the great things already happening in your young career. We know there's a lot more to come down the road. And best of luck in the future. Oh, I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Earl.